the carbon ion having maximum stability is students it is very clear that the carbon ion which is resonance stabilized will be most stable so among the given four options number 2 and number 3 will be resonance stabilized and among these two number 2 will be most stable because of the presence of carbonyl group which ultimately more stabilizes the carbon ion that means the correct answer is option number 2 the compound which will not undergo friedel craft reaction easily is options are isopropyl benzene the next we have xylene the next we have benzene sulfonic acid and the last we have toluene student first of all we need to understand the aromatic compounds on which strong electron withdrawing group directly attached to the benzene ring will not undergo friedel craft reaction so let's start with number 1 isopropyl benzene in this case isopropyl group which is ch3 c ch3 H will be attached to the benzene ring, which is electron donating group. As a result, will activates the ring towards Friedel craft reaction. Moving to number two, which is xylene. In case of xylene, two methyl groups are attached to the benzene ring, which ultimately increases the reactivity of the ring towards Friedel craft reaction. Moving to number three, benzene sulfonic acid. In this case, SO three H group. is attached to the benzene ring which is a withdrawing group as a result will decreases the reactivity of the ring towards friedel craft reaction moving to the last option which is toluene in this case methyl group is attached to the benzene ring as a result the reactivity of ring towards friedel craft reaction will be enhanced so the correct answer is option number 3 moving to the next question students which is 58 compound which shows optical activity is the options are ethanol the next is butane to all the next is butane one all and the last is propane to all student first of all we need to understand that chiral compounds are optically active so we have to identify that which among the following is a chiral compound starting with number 1 that is ethanol ethanol in this case the carbon which is attached to oh is attached with one methyl group and two hydrogen atoms so the compound is not chiral since on the central carbon same groups are attached moving to number 2 which is butane to all in this case the carbon which is attached to oh is bonded with one methyl group one h and one ethyl group as a result we can say that this compound that is butane to all will show optical activity moving to the next option which is butane one all in this case the oh is present on the terminal carbon on which two hydrogen atoms are attached so the compound is non chiral number 4 propane to all in this case carbon to which oh is attached is attached to two methyl group so again the compound that is propane to all is not chiral as a result will not show optical activity so the correct answer is option number 2 moving to the next question students which is 59 number of structural isomers possible for the molecular formula c6h14 is student first of all this is a saturated hydrocarbon and a saturated hydrocarbon will show chain isomers so let's draw the structural isomers of c6h14 structural isomers c6h14 so first of all i'm drawing the straight chain that is n hexane then it can be pentane or it's like two methyl pentane and then it can be three methyl pentane let's draw another chain isomer can be butane so two three dimethyl butane or it can be 2 2 dimethyl butane 
students that means number of structural isomers exhibited by the compound with molecular formula C6H14 is 5 so the correct answer is option number 3 moving to the next question students which is 60 methods used to purify liquids which decompose at or below their boiling point is students the method used is distillation under reduced pressure students in this method liquids are made to boil at a temperature lower than their normal boiling point by reducing the pressure on their surface that means the correct answer is option number one moving to the next question students which is 61 